So I was driving on Forza last night in an older car and the thought hit me, why do cars have limiters? You're literally scamming me. What are we talking about? So we gonna find out today. Limiters basically tell your car's computer to cut off at a certain speed. Most modern ones are set to around 155 miles per hour. But back in the day, if your dash said 180, you could go 180, but at your own risk. All of this started changing around the 90s, apparently. Europe had what they called the Gentleman's Agreement. BMW, Mercedes, Audi, they agreed to limit their cars to 155 miles per hour, so they were an arms race for who could make the fastest streetcar. Then safety laws, tire ratings, and the worst one of them all, insurance companies got involved. And once computers got involved around the 2000s, it was nothing, they just put it in the program and set it to a certain amount of speed. Now, if you ask me, I honestly say this was all about money, about putting money in people's pockets and making sure money doesn't leave their pockets. But let's look at the good in the limiter. You could definitely say tire safety is a good point. If you're on standard tires and you're hitting about 180, that tire could literally explode from the heat and speed from your vehicle. Kind of looks like a, a flat tire, but it's not. It does also give you some more engine life. Limiters also work with rev limiters to stop you from over revving or blowing something up. And lastly, I guess emissions and fuel economy. At crazy speeds, you're draining gas and putting out way more emissions. But you know. So the next time you hear that limiter kick in, you and the car live to fight another day.